Well, happy Feast of St. Joseph to everybody. St. Joseph, as many know, is the patron of here of our Diocese of Baton Rouge, but also he's the patron of the Universal Church, as declared by Blessed Pius IX in 1870. And it's a great reminder for us today is looking at this particular biblical figure whom we know about, we know his role, yet we never hear a word from him. But sometimes we know it's more than just words, but actions. He's important for us in our life of faith because he represents to us, again, someone who God gave a particular vocation, and then he trusted. Here's one whom God trusted not only with Mary, whom we know because of her role, of her great yes, but also the role of protecting now God's only son. We know any parent it takes a lot to trust someone to watch their kids, to truly be with them, but also protect them. And so if God gave Joseph his only son, I think we can also look to Joseph as a great example for us in a life of faith. We have to remember with him, though, just like John the Baptist, he's also bringing the end of the promises made in the Old Testament. How with King David, there was a promise made to him that his throne would never end, that someone always would sit. Joseph is the house of David, and how that line continues with him and brings to fulfillment the Old Testament, much as with the, the mission of John the Baptist. But also I love the reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It serves as a great reminder that just like Joseph, we have a great parallel with him in the story of our father Abraham. Here is one who was comforted, who had his wife, didn't have any kids, but was surrounded by his family. The Lord called him to something greater and set him out on this path that brought a lot of uncertainty, angst, and said, Lord, you would provide, do all these things, yet it seemed to never come to fruition. But through that patience, that prayer, that endurance, the Lord provided. And look how he became the father of many nations. And then we see now with the story of Joseph. And today there's two different gospel readings. I personally went over and prayed with the gospel of Matthew, hearing about, you know, here is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. We see this lineage. And here is Joseph. Of course, there's many different traditions of the church about his calling, how old he was, was he old, young. But regardless of whatever we might have read or believed, here we see ultimately with him. Here is one who thought is on his path as vocation with Mary as his wife, comes to find out that she is now with child with the whole, through the Holy Spirit. He doesn't know that yet. And he could have simply walked away because of many different ideas of why he might have walked. But ultimately, God spoke to him, gave him assurance. Now, did he fully understand? No. But he still trusted and see where the Lord brought him. Well, that's a great, I think, message for all of us. As we go through this trial with COVID-19, these quarantine measures, this time of maybe physical separation, maybe a lot of anxiety, whether about your job, finances, health. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. We don't understand why all this is happening or where this will lead. But we look to the great figure of St. Joseph, a reminder of God's promise to us to be with all of us always. Will that always be easy? Will it be trials? Yes. Will it always be easy? No. But through God's grace, through our prayers, the support of our family, our friends, and most importantly, us as a universal church, praying for each other and trying to find ways to support, we remind ourselves that God is always present. God will provide. And I end my homily today with the words that I read in the Office of Readings from uh, St. Bernardine of Siena. He says, remember us, St. Joseph, and plead for us to your foster child. Ask your most holy bride, the Virgin Mary, to look kindly upon us, since she is the mother of him, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns eternally. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.